The Great Falls Fire Rescue is aiming towards an all-hazards training facility for first responders. Their training tower was out of service after the fire chief called it temporarily condemned. MTN's Cade Mentor caught up with the fire chief on his plans for a new training facility. The Great Falls Fire Rescue's training tower located right here on 9th Street South is described by Great Falls Fire Chief as temporarily condemned, which is why he is currently working to build a coalition to get state funding for an all-hazards training area here at the existing training center. This is the exact training tower that Great Falls Fire Chief says is temporarily condemned due to the inability to provide adequate training for his first responders. After hiring a structural engineer to estimate the cost of this project, the city commission approved 150 grand for repairs. But due to price increases and meeting occupational safety and health administration standards is an extra set of obstacles. When asked about the importance of providing an all hazards training facility, Chief Jones said this. So public safety entities across the state and really across the nation have the, the work that they perform has changed drastically over the last few decades. Uh, where we used to be kind of in our own silos of fire, law enforcement, EMS, now those boundaries overlap. And being able to overlap within those boundaries, we need the type of facilities where each public safety agency, whether it be law enforcement, sheriff's office, EMS, fire, uh, has the capabilities to train together. Jones said the city or other municipalities cannot afford the project on their own due to the limited amount of resources which is why he's teaming up with the Great Falls Police Department and Cascade County Sheriff's Office, alongside some other entities to move this project forward. So as you can tell, the, the geographical boundaries of the state are not limiting anymore. So being able to have the facilities in place to be able to work with our public safety partners, no matter what color uniform you wear, is really crucial. Uh, the big one for us is working with our county rural fire departments. We work hand in hand more and more every day, mutual aid support, the wildland component, and, and no public safety agency has enough resources to get the job done themselves. So collaboration and interoperability are crucial to be successful in providing a safe, continuous public. The Great Falls Fire Rescue alongside fellow partners will present to local government officials in Helena on September 7th. The request will be a one-time influx that would be paid out through the government surplus money, and the city's match will be the 9.5-acre facility they currently have, along with the consortium group for the long-term sustainable cost. In Great Falls, Cade Mentor, MTN News. Some residents of a north-central Montana apartment building may be looking for a new place to live after a fire. According to Great Falls Fire Rescue, it happened on the third-floor apartment at 1101 Fifth Avenue North last night. The people and pets living in the apartment got out safely. The fire was contained to that apartment. Firefighters worked with Great Falls Police to investigate and determine the fire started on a mattress, but how it started is unknown at this time.